Hi. So today we'll discuss about how to create a campaign. So basically there are a couple of options how we can create a campaign. So we'll discuss about all. So in first what we need to do is first of all we just need the admin credentials to log in. Once we log in through the credentials, the first thing that will come across is a screen. This is the dashboard that we call which gives us a complete overview of your account along with all the summary analysis and all the shortcut keys as well. Now in order to create a campaign, there is a shortcut key also over here as we can see that just beside upload leads there is a create campaign option just under the pin campaigns and above the lead analysis. Once we click on create campaign over here, all the basic details are been fetched up. So we can just simply put the name the, in which pipeline I want to create it and who will be managing it, who will be the agents who will be getting these leads and additional settings like what are the lead distribution will work for this campaign. What will the priority of this campaign lead to PKC? We can just put all the basic details and we can simply create it from here. But the best idea and the best way to do create a campaign is always we just need to go to the left hand side pipeline because pipeline is a kind of campaign category and whatever the campaign you want to create it under that particular camp uh, pipeline. So it would be easier to like get it done or like have a clarity on it. So what we'll do, we just simply need to click on pipeline. Then there are whatever the pipelines are there or has been created in my account or in the account has been present over here. So in whatever pipelines we want to create a campaign so that that particular campaign's leads would uh, work as a uh, like as a as that particular lead journey whatever has been set up for that particular pipeline. So what we'll do? Let's say like I want to create a folder or a pipe or a campaign uh, for sales. So what I'll do? I'll just simply click on sales pipeline. So we have got entered into the sales pipeline. Under the sales pipeline, whatever the campaigns have been already created, all the campaigns are visible on the right hand side. If you want to edit it, if you want to duplicate it, we can do it. For edit, uh, for edit stuffs, we just need to click on the particular campaigns, and then we can do. If you want to view the leads, view the call logs, and then the action button, we can edit it. We can create, a, edit the engagement form. We can upload the leads. So everything we can do. We can view the tasks. We we'll just go back. So in any of the campaigns, if you want to create a duplicates of it, in the right hand side, there's a three dots option. We can simply click on it. We can copy it as well to get a new campaign duplicated to the previous campaign. Now, in order to create a new campaign, what we need to do is in this particular pipeline at the top, there's a create campaign option. Once we click on create campaign, then the same options are been visible, which we have already seen when we have clicked on create campaign from the dashboard. Now over here, the name. So what will be the name of this particular campaign or folder so that we'll be able to understand that this folder consists of that data. So I'll just select, I'll just put any of the name like test, test two, three, four. Now what I'll do, the pipeline, pipeline I've already selected that this is for sales. So in the sales category itself, the pipeline, the campaign should be there. Then we'll be managing this campaign. I can select the manager. So let us select it Shorya for now. And then accordingly select agents. So whoever the agents will be taking care of this particular campaign. Okay. I need to just select the agents. So there are a couple of agents are there. So I can select any one of them. So any, not only one, any of them. So I will select Lakshay, Keshe, and one more I will select like region. So this three people will be taking care of the leads, whatever will be uploaded in this particular campaign. Now I'll go to additional settings and additional settings lead distribution is it. Okay, so AI assignment, equal assignment, conditional assignment. So there are three of the uh, like three of the major lead distribution settings we can see. So what are the ways we want that in this particular campaign lead duplicacy, uh, like lead distribution works. So we can select that particular uh, settings and accordingly the lead will get distributed to the users. Then after that the campaign priority. So we can select any of one of this. It's better that if we just select highest so that uh, like if a particular person or a user has been added in multiple campaigns and if that person is not applying any filter and he or she is directly trying to call it from the uh, like main screen of the user portal then as per the priority only the system will start giving the leads to that person so priority is very important okay unless or until if you're not applying any filter if you're just normally making the calls then as per the priority only then the person will start getting the leads now the lead duplicacy. There are a couple of lead duplicacy options in there. In this particular campaign, what kind of lead duplicacy should work? Ignore means if there are duplicates, it will get ignored. If there are duplicates, merge duplicate means if there are duplicates, it will get merged up. Create duplicates means 
That means if there are duplicates, the system won't check at all. The duplicates leads will automatically get created. The system will upload the leads blindly. Simple. And as per like as per the like whatever we want, we can just uh, set it up. We can just select that particular duplicate setting. It's always better if we just select merge duplicate because whatever the duplicates will be there, it will get merged up. It will show you as one lead, and in that particular lead, all the details would be there. How many uh, whatever the times it has been duplicated. Now we have uh, we have put all the basic details. Now we just simply need to click on create. Once we click on create, we can see this particular campaign has been created. Over here, if we want to upload the leads, we can simply upload the leads by clicking on this option. And if we just want to create an engagement form, we can just simply click on this engagement form and we would be able to create it. And that's all. So this is how we can just create a campaign and then we can upload the leads and we can create an engagement form as well. So that's all. Thank you.